Hey everyone, this is Artosis, and uh, before I introduce this game, I want to say I'm actually working a lot right now on improving my sound quality. A couple people have been complaining that uh, my mic might not be good or something like that, so please leave any feedback on that. I'm toying with the quality settings and whatnot. Anyways, this game is going to really excite you because we have Liquid Ret, one of the best Zergs in the entire world, probably the best European player overall, and he is going up against Marine King Prime. Yeah, that's a Korean name, but believe me, this is Marine King Prime, and this is going to be a very exciting game. The map is Zelnaga Caverns, and we have two amazing players going at it. Now, Marine King Prime, for those of you who do not know, uh, he is basically the runner-up from Season 2. He's done great. He got second place in uh, BlizzCon. I mean, not BlizzCon. Uh... G Stars, that's what it's called. That, that's a little special event. And uh, on the other hand, Liquid Rat, he lives with Liquid Jinro, an amazing player who uh, just is performing outstandingly in the GSL, as well as Liquid Hey Pro, Liquid Huck, and the whole OGS crew. So, an absolutely baller StarCraft 1 player turned amazing StarCraft 2 player. This game is really exciting me. I cannot wait to see what occurs. It looks like Rhett's going to go for a fast expansion hatchery first. On about 15 supply. Marine King just making a single barracks right here with no sort of wall in. This makes me think that we might see a lot of Marines being made uh, out of this barracks because there is no wall. And normally you wall against Zerg, so I'm a little bit confused. Uh, this could make speed Zerglings pretty dangerous, but Marine King, he knows what he's doing. If anyone knows the in and outs of defending stuff with his Marines, it is this guy. So no gas notice. Uh, it definitely looks like he will be going for a one barracks expansion. No, a uh, late gas. All right, so we might be seeing a reactor expansion. I don't know. This is a little bit weird because that is a very late gas. Now, Rhett coming down to scout. He's going to see everything going on. The Marine going to have to chase him, but slow reaction speed there by Marine King. Notice Marine King. He hasn't sent an SCV yet, has he? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, really building up his mineral count. Looks like uh, he is probably going to build a command center pretty quickly here anyways. And, oh, Rhett gets out with that drone. In the meantime, spawning pool going up, gas going up for Rhett. And after scouting that, I'm sure he's not going to go roach. That would be kind of funny. Uh, well, I, I suppose he could, but why? You know, you can get a much better economy not going roach. And that is what Rhett is all about. Totally an economy, Zerg. Now, we do see a command center started, and there is the tech lab. Looks like he wants to get some pretty fast stim. Uh, we may see some a really strong timing attack coming after the expansion. You know, just land the expansion, get a few barracks up, and move out with sick amounts of Marines and perhaps some Marauders, and stim and just try to out-micro your opponent. That's the type of style that Marine King Prime absolutely loves. Now, Rhett making his double queens as he should. Going ahead and injecting. Getting a... Uh, and look at that, already has a third queen started. Uh, the creep is just so important. Notice this, a very fast creep tumor. I'd love to see him connect creep here. Some Zergs don't do it. I prefer the Zergs that do. Uh, we'll see, though. Now, we have more and more barracks going up. Reactor, this one will probably have a reactor as well if he does get enough gas for it. Notice Stim is on the way. And Marine King just is going to really want to get a lot of Marines. You're going to see the sickest micro ever if he does choose to do a timing attack. So the command center just finishing up. Gonna make an orbital before he sends command center down. Gotta get those mules out ASAP. And Liquid Rhett, he's got three queens now. Hasn't teched up to layer, but he already has started the Zergling speed. As soon as he gets enough gas, I'm sure he's gonna go layer. And uh, he's gonna take out that SCV. So not a whole lot of scouting by Marine King, but he does see that the layer wasn't started yet. Layer starts right after him. So that could tip him off and be like, oh, maybe he's going to do some uh, high economy bangling aggression or something like that. But in fact, that is not what Rhett's going to do. Rhett is doing a much more standard, safe type of build here. And uh, it's going to be pretty strong. His economy is looking quite good. Let's take a look at that. 35 drones against 24 SCVs. But of course, double mulage already coming down. So Rhett is going to have a very, very strong economy. Notice the Baneling Nest going up. Good timing on that. He wants it to finish about the same time as the Lair, so he can get Baneling speed immediately, especially against Marine King Prime. This is a guy that is going to hit these timing attacks that are going to be unbelievably strong. 
and you have to be so careful to be able to kill them with Banelings and Zerglings. So we see he's going to move out. He does have Stim already. Let's take a look. Is getting Combat Shields. Will he move out before Combat Shields? Definitely a possibility. Now this Zergling being quite annoying. And it looks like it will be taken out. A little Marauder shot there. A lot of Marines being made. A second Tech Lab can make some more Marauders like this along with a lot of Marines. And let's see for Rhett. No Baneling speed yet. There we go. He starts it up pretty quickly right there. He's definitely going to want that so fast. Notice his beautiful creep spread already. A little tip for Zerg players out there. Put these on a timer with your larva injects. Do something like, okay, I'm going to larva inject everything, and then I'm going to spread all the tumors. Notice how he does them all at once. Don't try to keep track of the individual times. It's actually too much. Uh, maybe Jadong one day will be able to do that, but it's much better to put them on a timing so that you actually have a lot of them all the time. Now... Banelings being made hidden a little bit on the side so a scan won't hit them as easily or any stray scouting SCDs. Rhett taking a third base down here. Probably going to use the Overlords to help spread the creep a little bit faster. Does have that creep tumor ready as it should be. The creep highway is going to be so important on stopping this attack. Baneling speed not quite done, but Marine King is coming out pretty quickly here. This uh, could be dangerous if he hits before the Baneling speed, but it looks like Baneling speed should be finished just in time. Marine King just walking straight up, seeing the creep. This is a lot of creep spread for anyone right now to already have. And he knows that. Going to scan and remove a whole bunch of it. Wants to be very, very careful. Banelings ready for a flank here. There are four Marauders, though. They're very good against Banelings. We'll have to see. Rhett right now making a ton more Zerglings and also making some more Banelings. And splitting up his Banes as well for some flanking action. And we'll have to see a nice flank coming in and in through the front with those Zerglings. And oh, oh, oh beautiful Baneling flank there. And Rhett is going to take out the majority of the units. There's a few left with uh, some hit points. Not very many, though. And Rhett going to clean that up relatively easily here. Just a couple very red Marauders left. Even the Queen could take those out at this point. And a couple Zerglings will instead. So Rhett crushes the first attack on Marine King Prime. I don't think he's very used to that. Beautiful Baneling flank by Marine King there. I mean, by Rhett there. Uh, that is the trick. You know, you have all this creep down here. Rhett was able to just walk all the way around the Banelings where you couldn't see him and then bring him up behind. Beautiful move by Rhett. And now he should be ahead. He is 91 supply against the 73 of Marine King. Marine King right now does not have a whole lot of tech. Just now getting his starport, getting that reactor so he can get a lot of medevacs, getting his double gas at his expansion now. In the meantime, we have Rhett making a bunch of mutas, getting his plus one attack. Uh, looks like he already has six mutas out, making a few more as well. And uh, Rhett has to be feeling absolutely brilliant right now. He is looking quite well ahead. And uh, Marine King is going to have to be playing catch up now. You know, he just threw away all those units. Marine King is actually a little bit over cocky with how good his micro is. The thing is, he can kill almost every Zerg in the world by just doing that attack and microing well, but as we saw there from Rhett, if you prepare for it properly, if you really know the ins and outs of how to stop it, you can crush it and get a good lead if Marine King actually chooses to do that. So that is what happened. Marine King is behind, is making a lot more barracks. Looks like he wants to hit a very strong two-base timing attack. This is almost going to be all in -ish. He has to get some serious damage done with this. There is no third command center ready. Rhett already has his third base, droning it up very, very well. He's up to 68 drones compared to the 51 SCVs of Marine King. And uh, Rhett, obviously, is going to have to have a lot of Banelings to deal with the next attack. And he's going to have to flank it very well. Look at that double evolution chamber going up. Getting his upgrades ready now that he has three bases worth of gas. That plus one Mutalisk attack almost done. No real good Mutalisk harassment yet, but he's getting a nice, sizable force of Mutalisk, 12 so far. When you get about 16, you start to feel a little bit invincible, and he's going to go up here and force Marine King to walk home and deal with this, but of course, Rhett will simply walk away, or fly away, rather, damaging up those medevacs. So I'm taking out any medevacs at this point is actually quite huge. Now, notice all the Marauders. Those are basically as meat shields against Banelings and, uh, so Erglings, it's really hard for those units to actually kill them. So they'll just stay alive and protect the Marines while the Marines do all the damage. Now, Rhett attacking Reactors, that is a beautiful way to do it. Reactors do not have a whole lot of health, and they take forever to make. So he's going to take out as much as possible before turning around. Now, this is a pretty sizable army, but Rhett has a ton of Banelings and Zerglings. 
But Red has to be very careful. He's going to go ahead and surround. Actually running right past some Marauders. Doesn't even care about them. Going for those Marines because this is Mutus can clean up everything else. And look at that beautiful play by Red. Those Marines dying right off. And the Mutas are going to be left to clean up very easily any remaining Marauders. So Marine King just getting further and further behind. Even though the supplies are somewhat even right now, let's take a look at this. 98 to 118. You think, oh, shouldn't Rhett be further ahead than that? No, this is actually so far ahead. Rhett's got these really expensive mutilists. Those are what are still alive. That is important. He's got the sick drone count, 65 drones right now. In the meantime, Marine King, no third command center, just buildings for making Marines and a few medevacs here and there. You know, he's just started his plus one carapet or armor, rather. Whereas Rhett is going to finish up 1-1 before he's even done that. So Rhett is basically ahead in every single way right now. Even going to kill this factory. No second starport for you, Marine King. And uh, Rhett is just, he is looking absolutely on top of this game. Look at the creep spread. Even after losing a ton of tumors down here to the early attack. Still pushing out, still laying more creep tumors. Building a ton more mutas. And taking this fourth base, which is oh so important. That is basically the nail in the coffin. It's just too much for Marine King to deal with. Look at that. Finally making the third command center, but it may be too little too late. Rhett coming down, going to attack this turret, take that out very quickly with this plus one attack. And now these Marines are naked in the main base. Only a single turret left, and Rhett will take that out as well. Oh, even running Zerglings in. Marine King realizes that this is not a situation where you can actually go back, stop this attack, and win the game. So he decides, okay, it is time to go. I have to get some damage done. Catches some of the Mutas. Red being a little bit sloppy there, losing some mutas. And this is Marine King's timing. He has to make this work, but there's a lot of Zerglings, a lot of Banelings. 1-1 one, one is finished, and Red looks like he is going to absolutely crush through this. Look at that. The Banelings just playing around with the Marines right now, and bam! Everything dies. I am imagining that we're going to see GG pretty quickly here. 154 supply against 69. Red absolutely crushing this game. Marine King trying to get up his goal. He's going to realize that's not happening. And uh, I guess we even had a little attack down there. Not that it mattered. Rhett is just so far ahead right now. We should be seeing GG any moment. Any moment. GG. That is it. Rhett takes out Marine King Prime with flair and with style. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.